Hello! In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how data is passed from one component to another through wires. So, in the right of the window, you can see I have a couple of curves, which um, I'm going to be using just to show you uh, how wires uh, are working within Grasshopper. So, first, we're going to go under parameters, geometry, and drag and drop a couple of curve uh, containers. Right click, set one curve. Then again, on the second one, right click, set one curve, and select the second one. I'm also going to minimize Grasshopper window by double clicking on it, on the title bar. I'm just going to turn off final layer so that I only see the grasshopper preview and I double click it again. Okay, so let's, uh, we have two curves now. Let's go to curves in the com component palettes, division and divide curves. So I'm just going to be using this simple definition to show you what's happening uh, with the with the wires. So, how do we connect um, one component or, or this container with this node with another one with a component onto the output of one node, and then just drag the wire and connect it with with the whichever um, input of the another component. So here, we're going to connect over here at C, where is the curve. So it's curve, number of divisions and kings. Um, so we're going to connect it here. Let's say, so again, just left click, drag, and connect. If we want to disconnect it, one, th there's many ways how to do it. But you can disconnect it uh, using control key. So hold control key. And you will see that your cursor will have this reddish red uh, um, arrow and the minus sign. But did it, for this to work, you have to find the, the output, the, the, the appropriate, appropriate output. So if I go over here, it doesn't work. So I have to disconnect exactly where it came from. So now let's say we have two curves and we want to put them both into the same component, this divide curve component. If I just um, uh, hover over the second curve output, just click and drag and connect. Well, I connected, sure, but it's not what I want. So by default, only one wire could be connected with one output and one input, right? So this is default. But let's say I want two wires to go in there. To do this, when I click and drag, I need to use, you need to hold shift key, and then you see the green small arrow next to your cursor with a very small plus sign. As I do that, I can connect multiple. Uh, multiple wires. Let's go to the uh, component palettes, uh, curve, division, and let's choose once again another component divide curve. So let's say this one uh, has certain settings. We can double click on canvas and call our panel, and then double click on the panel and just type 5. So let's say this one has a certain settings being division number, uh, division steps five. And let's say this one has another one. I will right click on the input uh, letter N representing the number of uh, those division steps. And I will choose set integer. And here I will choose, let's say, 15. And then I will say commit changes. So let's say these ones have different, certain different settings. 
and I want to move both of these curves to another component. So the quickest way to do that would be using holding two keys. So it would be Control and Shift. And then you see this nice circular arrow, uh, gray one. And this one means that you can reconnect multiple. So I can move. So in this case, is only uh, there's only two wires connected, but sometimes there could be a lot of them. So it, this becomes really useful. And you can do it like this. But I could also do it another way around. Let's say I have the output and uh, I want to change the input. And I could also do it like this. So here it's uh, obviously empty, but I could also do it the other way around. So this is meaningless just to just to show you. So let's say we would like to disconnect multiple wires. Uh, what is the best way to do that? So if you right click on it and choose disconnect, we can select which wire we'd like to disconnect or choose to disconnect all. So again, this is something um, more convenient than using control key and bringing back to the, to the origin. Next part that I want to introduce you to is wire display. So if I go again on the input parameter here, in, input uh, showing in input seer, sees the, the curves, I could choose wire display and I could choose default faint, so it's like a thinner line, or even display hidden. So you have this like broadcasting sign, like wire, wireless connection sign, right? And then you only see the wire when, when you um, select the component. The last subject I want to talk about is called fancy wires. You have been noticing before in the tutorial uh, that my sometimes my wires were displayed differently. So if you want to first, before the, uh, before the explanation, I advise you to go to the main menu bar, the, the typical Windows menu bar, go under display and select draw fancy wires. If there's no bluish uh, background, you have to turn it on, right? So turn it on. Um, so let's, let's now dive in and I will explain you what is it all about. So select the second curve, right click on it, clear the values and then select again at select set multiple curves. I'm just going to select both of them. So as you can see now, I have already two types of wires. Let's make another type. Let's go to the parameters, geometry, point, container. Let's connect them. So now I have three types of wires. Uh, wires represent the connections uh, as well as the flow of data. Uh, it gives visual clues as to what is flowing through them. So it's very important. So if I go just to show you, if I turn it off, I see all the wires the same. And if I turn it on, I see already information. This uh, we're going to be talking uh, later. Um, about data trees and uh, data lists. So this is actually crucial. I consider this as crucial part within Grasshopper. So let's see why is it different under parameters tab, utilities, param viewer, viewer, sorry my pronunciation. Let's just check it out. So I just connect the viewer to see what is inside. The difference between these two is the first one has only one branch and one member within that branch. 
So it's basically one object. The second one, it has one branch and two members. So in a sense, in this case, this is a single item that's being passed through the wire. Meanwhile, here, there are more than one item. There are actually two curves being passed through here. And then in this dashed case, there's actually a lot of items and uh, more than one branch. So it's, it's three branches now. So as you can um, imagine, these, um, the, da the dash represents more than one branch. If you double click on the param viewer, you can see it more visually. Sometimes it's helpful uh, for some people. Um, maybe in this case, that's so to compare these two. So that, that, that's, that's the basic. Uh, what would happen if we change the wire display? Let's check it out. So sometimes, as I mentioned before, when you uh, modify a wire display over here, and again, especially if you're working in a team and you share definition and you don't have a very strict agreements upon what, what are the rules um, uh, of the display or other rules as well, it, it could get confusing. So let's say, sorry, so let's say in this case, um, if, I, if I don't see the wire, I'm losing information. Uh, and I know that, oh, in this particular point, this one is set to, you know, wire displays, not default. So that could be, uh, could cause some, uh, some problems. So just be aware of it. Just to, um, just to visualize it once, uh, one more time. Let's imagine that Let's connect this one. So here we have two curves. Let's copy it again. And let's connect again with holding shift key. So while we're not uh, yet talking about um, data structure within Grasshopper, still I have to touch upon it a bit. So now we have two same uh, containers, two, two containers with the same da data inside. And over here, I can right click on it and use modification uh, this graph. So now we have also just two curves inside, but since they are now in two different uh, data paths, two different branches, they actually would have um, this uh, this container would output a dashed a fancy wire. So I think that's it uh, with the connections within Grasshopper. See you in the next one.